Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today we're going to be going over the all-new 2019 Subaru Legacy. A big shout out and thank you to Mark Miller Subaru for providing us with the vehicle today. They've got a ton of inventory to choose from, but let's just get right into the video. If we look under the hood of the 2019 Legacy, we can see the 3.6 liter flat six motor that they have. It is good for 200 and 56 horsepower, 247 pound-feet of torque. That is through a CVT transmission, and that will give you 20 miles per gallon around town, 28 on the highway with a combined rating of 23. If you do want better fuel economy, they do offer a four-cylinder engine as well. Obviously, it's going to have a little bit less power, but then you are going to save quite a bit on the fuel side of things. Wrap things up front. We can see the nice signature Subaru headlights with the LED accent lights, projector bulbs down there as well. And then obviously, we've got the nice front end with the kind of like faux front um, splitter looking thing that I really like. And then obviously, the nice little chrome bits with the Subaru logo to tie it in all together. If we come to the side here, we can see the nice rims and they kind of have like aluminum looking inserts on them. And so then it makes them look very premium and it looks great with the car and matches the chrome inserts overall. And then something that I'm noticing is a lot with the two-toned mirrors. So you have body painted right here and then it'll be black on the bottom to give a little bit of contrast. Coming around to the back, you can see the nice two exhaust tips out the back right there with the 3.6R badging and then we can see the key fob right here and if we hold this down that will pop the trunk so that we can open it and you can see just like on most of the Subarus you get the set of rubber floor mats as well as the cloth ones say legacy on it tons of storage space back here and so if the Impreza is not quite enough space for you then go for the legacy so you can get a little bit extra storage space and you can fold those seats down in the back as well and then obviously with the backup camera right there and then the parking sensors integrated into the lower bumper around to the back here we can see nice leather seats and like i said i like the i really like the contrast between the red and then the white seats i think it's a very very good look you obviously get nice leather bolsters on the doors and then with the stitching in there as well tons of leg room for your rear passengers with heated seats in the back as well and then you do get a little power outlet. In front you have the keyless entry function so one touch to lock it and then to unlock it you just have to put your hand on the back of the door handle and that unlocks it for you. You have your window controls right there with your mirror controls, memory seat function, nice wood trim and then you get bolstering right there with the leather. All of your power adjustments for the seats and then see all the safety tech this comes with. This is These are the controls that turn off a lot of it so like the lane departure assistance, forward collision warning, then the blind spot monitoring system as well if you can turn off those functions that's all right there but the amount of safety tech that they have in these Subarus is incredible. Starting things off on the interior here we can see all the controls for the Bluetooth phone setup and then the radio as well you've got your cruise controls over there and then you've got the nice panel shifters on the back of the steering wheel if you want to shift the gears yourself. To start up the legacy you just have to put your foot on the brake push the push start button and then the car will start right up. You have your gauges right here. And a lot of stuff on this vehicle will actually look very similar to the Outback if you look at them um, back to back, basically. You can see both of the gauges right there and then the digital gauge right there in the center that'll give you, you know, real-time fuel economy, for example, outside temperature, obviously mileage on the car, you know, pretty much every bit of information that you want to know. We have our center screen right here. So obviously you have your volume controls and your radio adjustment right there. And like I said prior, this is just instantaneous with the response time. Sorry, the plastic's getting a little bit in the way, but you know, you can do your Bluetooth through here. You can see that you can have the map function, everything, but I mean, it's just so responsive, everything. And I like the fact that they still have little kind of like buttons on the outside. You have your heated seat controls right here on both sides. Dual zone climate, it's synced right now via that button. You have your analog climate controls right there. Bunch of little charging stations here in the center. And then you can see you have your gear selector, which you do have that manual mode, and that's what those paddle shifters are used for if you're in the manual mode. And then you can see right here, you've got your parking brake as well, both cup holders. You've got a nice glove box right there. 
And you can see these seats up front are nicely bolstered. And it's kind of like this nice cream color that I think goes really well with the exterior color on this particular car because kind of like the red with the nice cream on the inside. And then obviously the nice leather padded center console. And you do get extra storage in there with little 12 volt and it is lined with felt as well. Pop the car into reverse. We can see the backup camera will pop up right there. It's got the little lines that will move as you turn the steering wheel so that it guides you exactly where you need to go. And in conjunction with the parking sensors, it makes this vehicle very, very easy to park. If we look up top, we do get the nice sunroof right there to give you a little bit more light into the cabin space. And obviously your sunglass holders, all that, and then the controls for the sunroof are right there. setting off in the 2019 Subaru Legacy and I'm noticing a lot of similarities between this and the Outback just actual like layout wise a lot of the gauges and equipment pretty much are all the same across the board which I actually really like because that familiarity makes it so that it's not like a you know crazy going from one vehicle to another if you need a different if you need a different type for some reason and then obviously since this has the 3.6 liter it is the more powerful motor offering that you can get in the legacy and so obviously your fuel economy is going to be a little bit less but then you do benefit by getting better power outputs and so i'll kind of go over that um, the differences on that in a moment so in terms of ride quality just like all the other subarus it rides very very smooth Power delivery is really nice because it goes through that you know symmetrical all-wheel drive system it just puts the power to the ground very very well and it just kind of floats along the road essentially we are about to take it on the interstate to get a little bit of an acceleration and then to see how it handles on the highway as well and this 3.6 liter does very well. It's more than enough acceleration to get you up and going to highway speeds and all that. And since this is in a little bit smaller of a vehicle compared to the Outback, obviously it gets a little bit better fuel economy numbers. But the other benefit is it accelerates you know, a little bit quicker than the Outback since the vehicle weighs less. Just like on the road, the Legacy drives very, very smoothly. And I, I can't Reiterate, reiterate this enough that these highways that we have in Utah are there's all these bumps and undulations and they're just you know after our winters they're just not very nice to drive on and the fact that this car is so smooth over these roads is just absolutely incredible and it makes the driving experience very enjoyable and very comfortable as well and then back onto that point with power now the biggest question that a lot of you are going to be asking is you know do you go for the four cylinder or do you go for the six cylinder motor with this and just like what I said with the Outback, it just depends on your driving style. So if fuel economy is more important to you, I'm not saying the four cylinder doesn't have any power because it's got more than enough power to get up and go. But if fuel economy is more important to you, and obviously it's going to be a lower cost option. And so if you're going for the more fuel efficient, more budget friendly option, go for the four cylinder. But if you've got a little bit of a race car driver in you and you like going quick, then you know the little bit of a loss of fuel economy and the little bit higher cost of this motor is definitely worth it to go for. And so it just depends on you know what's most important to you with what you're looking for in a vehicle. Go back on to the safety tech on this. Just like all the other Subarus, because of all the safety tech that in most of its standard equipment with some of the packages that Subaru offers, it's a great value proposition because you get all this safety and it makes the driving experience more comfortable because you feel safe because the blind spot monitoring system goes off or the lane departure system goes off and tells you that you're drifting out of your lane or maybe the person in front of you slams on your their brakes and you're not quite paying attention and so then it gives you a little bit of a warning just to keep you safe overall and the fact that they don't 
have, you know, some of the stuff's optional, but most of it's standard that it's not like, oh, here's this, you know, $10,000 safety tech package that you have to get to get, you know, all, this, all the safety equipment on a vehicle. So it's nice that Subaru does that for its customers. To wrap things up overall, you know, kind of where this sits is, I think that a lot of, a lot of it's gonna come down to what you're looking for, right? So if the Impreza is, you know, not quite enough space, and you want a little bit more power and you know since the WRX and the STI are you know the same size as the Impreza then this is the option to go for because it gives you a little bit more power and a little bit sportier driving similar to the WRX and the STI but then it also gives you that added space and added utility as well. There we have it everyone, the all new 2019 Subaru Legacy. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, please leave a like. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you thought. And then again, huge shout out and thank you to Mark Miller Subaru with providing us with these vehicles to film. Thank you all and I'll see all of you in that next video.